show her filled with joy. On Christmas Eve, while at her grandmother's home on 22nd Avenue in Largo, she'd had enough of her brothers bickering. DeMarcus and Darkus began pulling guns on one another. Abrielle told DeMarcus, quote, you all need to leave that stuff alone. Why are you trying to start it? It's Christmas. They both had been fighting over Christmas presents, with the 15-year-old Darkus jealous that their mom had spent more on gifts for 14-year-old DeMarcus. After Abrielle stepped in, DeMarcus pulled a gun and fired, killing her and sending her son and his nephew, an 11-month-old, falling to the ground. Then, Darkus pulled his own gun and shot DeMarcus, leaving him badly injured. This proliferation of guns on the streets and guns in this area and guns in the hands of these kids, this is the worst I've ever seen. It. I don't think we've ever seen it this bad. The sheriff says the area around 22nd Avenue in Largo has been subject to extra patrols lately, with 13 gun-related incidents since September. He says his office has gotten reports of 17 guns stolen from unlocked cars. He suspects the guns used in this shooting were obtained that way. And people can't leave their car doors unlocked and leave their guns in their cars. It's got to stop. Further, the sheriff says both juveniles have been let off the hook too easily by the juvenile justice system, particularly DeMarcus, who has a history of violence against school staff and law enforcement. The sheriff is calling for tougher laws. They are not getting the consequences that they should get that keep them from doing it again and again and again. Abriel was only 23, and now her kids, an 11-month-old and a 6-year-old, will have to grow up without her. Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News. DeMarcus has been charged with first-degree murder for shooting his sister. He's in the hospital and expected to recover. Darkus is charged with attempted first-degree murder and is in a mental health treatment facility.